Hi guys, in this video, I would like to show how you can chat with your data with Pandas AI. Pandas AI is designed to be used in conjunction with Pandas. It makes Pandas conversational, allowing you to ask questions about your data and get answers back in the form of Pandas data frames. You can check more about this library in its GitHub repo. So let's try this new feature. First of all, you need to install Pandas AI library with pip install Pandas AI. And in this case, I have installed mine. Next, you need to import some modules such as Pandas, Pandas AI, and OpenAI itself. And in addition to that, here I also imported the OS and .env library to help me access the environment variable that stores my secret open API key. Alright, next, we need to load the environment variable that stores our API key. In this case, for mine, this inside the open API key. And in this notebook, I store this in the API key variable. As an example here, we have a small data frame that stores data on GDP and happiness index by countries. So we will try to chat with this data in the later section. To start using this feature, we first need to instantiate the LLM. So here we pass our API key to the OpenAI wrapper in an object called LLM. And then we pass the LLM to the Pandas AI wrapper. Now let's talk with the data frame. For the first example, we asked which are the 5 APS country. And for this, you can use Pandas AI run method. In the method, you need to define some parameters such as the F for the data frame and also for the prom. The prom is actually the question that you were going to ask and it answers correctly. As you can see here, the top 5 are Canada, Australia, UK, Germany and the US. Next, we ask the sum of the GDPs of the two unhappiest countries and the sum is around 19 trillion dollars which is the sum of China's and Japan's GDP. In the next question, we ask about the average of the GDP for Asian countries. And again, it gives a correct answers. The average GDP of China and Japan is $9.5 trillion. And for the last question, we ask Pandas AI to give us a histogram plot that shows each country's GDP. Well, I think this is a very nice and handy tool to use. You should definitely try this out. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.